time for a class overview. Um, in this class, there's going to be six projects. Um, for each project, you're going to have an engineering challenge, you're going to have a math challenge, and a physics challenge. And if you complete all three for all six projects, you'll get this kind of overarching STEM badge. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Um, if you just do the engineering assignment for each one, you'll still get the engineering badge, and that would be great um, because you'll still learn how to think, and it'll be it'll be really good for your brain. Um, but I highly encourage you to do the math and physics parts because that'll help uh, make everything have everything make more sense. Especially if you don't see a connection between what you're learning in math class currently or physics class and the real world, um, doing these extra assignments in addition to the engineering one will help you see those connections, and hopefully it'll help you make more sense out of it. Um, so the six projects, you're going to have two weeks for each project, but they're going to be assigned once a week. So in other words, you're going to kind of have two weeks to finish it, but after that first week, you're going to get another assignment. And the six assignments are going to start with um, the CAM, or the Automata, kind of is a crank pop up and down thing, a catapult, um, a gravity car, which is just a car that you can go down a ramp, um, powered by gravity. Uh, the third one, you're going to make some art, some sort of kinetic art, something that moves, but also something that's pretty, um, or that you or that represents you. Um, the fifth thing is going to be um, making a toy, a kinetic toy, a toy that moves. And the sixth thing is going to be up to you as long as it interacts with an animal. And um, we can talk about the reasoning behind these projects, because uh, I think that'll help them make more sense. So the first one, I'm going to kind of tell you what to do. I'm going to give you a list of instructions, and then you're going to have a chance to make it better. So um, you're kind of focusing, if we go back to the engineering design process, design optimization. So you're going to make it and then make it better. Um, for the second one, the catapult, uh, I'm going to give you some guidelines, and I'll even have an option where you can uh, build the catapult that I built. And then the focus of that one is going to be more design exploration. You're going to think about different things you can do and then try and do it. Um, then about the car, I'm just going to tell you just generally what you need to think about. And again, that's more, it's getting more into design exploration. So the first three projects are all focused on these two middle areas, which are the most fun, but also um, kind of the most important, kind of figuring out what's good, what can be better, what's good, what can be better. Um, then the next three projects are going to focus on the outside ones, the problem definition and communication. So um, for the art project, you're kind of think the problem definition is going to be what we're focusing on, because you're thinking about what what means something to me? You're kind of creating, you're kind of creating your own parameters for the problem. And so you're defining what the problem is and then you're gonna solve it. So your problem is just make something that moves that's art. And so it has to um, represent you in some way. Um, then the toy is kind of problem definition and then also focusing on communication. Because if you're making a toy for someone else, then you need to think about what the parameters are for them. Are they less than three? So it can't have chokeables. Um, what do they like? Do they like ponies? Do they like cars? Do they like ponies who drive cars? Um, you need to think about what the constraints are for the user. In other words, your friend or little brother or cousin who need who wants a toy. And then you're also going to think about communication, where you kind of give it to them when it's almost done and say, OK, test this out. What do you like about it? What can I do better? And then they're going to give you feedback, and you can make it even better. So this one we're kind of focusing on the outside. Um, and then and for the last one, make something that interacts with an animal. Well, your client, you can't really interview them this time in problem definition. You're going to have to research something. You have to figure out what do birds like? What do cats need? What do dogs do? Um, and so that's going to be a little bit even more challenging. And um, by the end, you'll have focused on each of these in different projects. And so you will become a uh, engineering design thinker master, let's say. Um, and, and so that's the plan. So this class should take about eight weeks total. Like I said, there's six projects, two weeks per project. Um, and it's going to be up to you to, uh, to get everything done and to make sure you learn something from this. Thank you.